Yo, what is up, guys? It's me, Practical Asian, or the most practical of Asians. I'm back, and unfortunately, we have to talk about the new Suicide Squad game. Yes, the game I refuse to play on this channel because it is absolutely utter garbage, and I will never change my opinion on that. Maybe they can do some updates, and I'll change my opinion then, but we'll see. Suicide Squad, in all of its rights, is completely flawed in the sense of they are just trying to bank on the fact that the fanboys of DC are going ahead and just consuming the content because DC fans only can go to, you know, people who make DC games and the movies, even though they're absolutely utter crap. I just want to talk about Arkham right now. Now, when Arkham came out, it was a really good game. I remember when I played it like eight, nine years ago. Beautiful. And when I was trying to think back to Arkham, when I was seeing all the gameplay for, you know, Suicide Squad, I was just like, dude, what the heck? I remember Arkham being better. Now, with that being said, I went ahead and found a video online where it shows the two games side by side. And let's just take a look. And exactly, you see the night and day difference here, right? This is Arkham. I remember the rain mechanics. I remember how beautiful the city was. Like, again, we're not talking about the graphic uh, like the graphic cards or graphic engines we have today in this day and age. And it looks miles better. And then Suicide Squad on the right is just utter garbage. Like, I, I don't know what to say here. Other than, bro, give people their money back. Like, what is this? It's bland. It's washed out. Arkham did a way better job, man. Look, that, look at this clip of just Batman going through the city. Um, Like, it's surreal. It's, it feels like it's lived in. It's amazing, to say the least. Like... I'm remembering how I used to play this game over and over again, and I couldn't get over the fact of just zipping through the city, gliding around, and just loving every single part of this. But this, like, cool, man. It's just garbage. I feel like, honestly, Suicide Squad at this point is just a cash cow, and no one knows what they're doing other than, let's just get all the DC fanboys to go ahead and spend their money. I can't speak to the combat, but it looks miles better. I, I haven't experienced Suicide Squad's combat, but holy crap, man. I, I remember giving the SmackDown. I remember how much I would just waste my time in this world. And I'm going to be honest, that's just not really fluid, man. Is that really it? Wow, they they really did. What wow, that really is it? <laughs> She's just jumping around and ground pounding the. That's wild, man. Yeah, th that's the Harley Quinn gameplay I know and love. She was so fun to play with. And now it's just a ground pound doozy, bro. I actually feel like going ahead and playing Arkham again just to relive the fun times I had with it. Alright, I'm going to just stop the video here because at this point, I think you guys actually get the entire point I'm making here. Dude, the game is just, it's an embarrassment. Nine years ago, there was actually something to go ahead and be happy about. Look, I, I love DC as much as the next DC fanboy, you know, loves DC. But this is an excuse that, it's an excuse of a game. It's an excuse of an inclusion of a franchise. Like... I don't understand how many movies, how many games are we going to go ahead and get a really crap rendition of, of what the DC fan or what the DC kind of base is all about. It's terrible. No one likes it. No one wants it. We're complaining about it now. And this was the big hype and reveal. I, I like, I don't know what to say. Like, all I can say here is that there are, it is clear that there are some people who, when they go ahead and make a game, 
they actually care about the artistic style that they put into it. They care about the mechanics. They care about the fluidity. They do everything they can to go ahead and put out a quality game. Something a lot of people want, right? But again, and again, I keep on seeing studios. This doesn't necessarily have to be about DC right now. It's about studios that just pump out games as a cash revenue. And it's just like, really? Do we really need this right now? We don't. Not in any regards. And it's baffling to think that they think we're idiots. We can remember a game from nine years ago and just think, man, that that was the pinnacle. That was the high point. And then we get this kind of crap. Honestly. Like, what do you want me to do? This is not fun. Not the slightest. And the fact that people are going to spend their hard-earned money on this game, I don't think they give a shit. They just want your money and boom, they're gone. Look, man, I love Batman. I love Joker. I love the whole chemistry that they have. And I kind of, like, I like the Flash and all that stuff. But, like, I like the characters within the DC universe. I like DC. But if you're going to keep on feeding us this crap... I don't think you're going to have any fans left after this. Same shit happened to Star Wars. Same shit's going on with Marvel. What do you want us to do, man? Anyways, if you like what you saw or hated what you li- uh, what you saw and you agree with me, like, comment, subscribe. I would love to go ahead and, you know, see you guys in other videos and stuff like that. Dislike it if you dislike it. And practically, I could care less about... The Suicide Squad game. Anyways, I'm out. Peace.